Well, prom season is closing in for high school students throughout central North Carolina. It's a big time for those kids, but looking for the best, you know, annual rite of passage can be very expensive for a lot of parents as well as those students. CBS 17's Amalia Roy goes to a unique event aimed at making some of those choices a little bit easier. Proms are still months away, but that has not stopped the crowd here from already getting into the spirit. I'm seeing a lot of dancing. And at the end of the day, hopefully everyone leaves here saying yes to the perfect dress. The dress sizes can like change sometimes and it's confusing. Kiana's on a mission for a dress that makes her feel beautiful and confident for prom. Well, I'm mostly just a person who likes dark colors. Uh, I've never really tried light ones because I don't think I look good. But today, the high school junior is looking outside her usual color palette. I've never worn a pink one. <laughs> I think you have to try it. Not very much of my color, but it looks really nice. I was like, I might as well try it out. She's one of many young women scouring the racks of more than 800 donated prom dresses at Tarboro Community Center in Raleigh. The second annual Say Yes to the Prom Dress events, making sure any high schooler looks their best for the big day for free. That prom is a really exciting event um, where it has a lot of financial constraints to it. Organizers say the cost of prom can force families to make difficult budget decisions. Sometimes it may be I want to go to prom, but I'm, I'm probably just not. And they might not open up about why, but it's more than likely it can be a financial burden. Once shoppers picked a dress, they gave it a spin around the room to make sure it's just right. In Raleigh, Amalia Roy, CBS 17 News.